Hey, what's up guys? This is COVID from Code COVID YouTube channel and this is fourth video tutorial on Python which indicates you or redirects you to primitive data types. So first of all, I would like to rema remind you that if you haven't yet subscribed our channel, just click on this or a red button and just subscribe. To subscribe, you'll get like this stops and other techie stops too. So, uh, we are heading over this Python tutorial on primitive data types. So here are some of my codes. So I will show you. Okay. So here, if I put some like this, hello, and it returns me this uh, key value that is hello. And this key value, we tell them string data types. Okay, guys. So just come in over and just uh, take a look here because this one is very much important as this is a adult programming. So this is not a baby programming like as a function and this will help you a lot. Okay, guys. So I would like to remind you if you put like this and uh, you start a variable with letters, Python will not accept it. So let me show you. COVID and you can see here it says uh, syntax error this is because that 8 we defined a variable 8 that is not supportable by Python to make it variable so let us do a little bit tricky at the thing that uh, we'll just put this symbol and let me test this and it will show me again syntax error so this is the rule so if you put some symbols like this and and covid equals covid so it will again show you syntax error because this is not supported so to make it supported you will have to put letters and you can put numbers after later okay so one two I can put it and as I do this and if I return COVID 12 it will return me COVID so this is the fact so let me get you over after this uh, uh, string data types we have something like this 14 so you see what the 14 is think that you can probably know what is 14 so go ahead and comment down below and don't don't forget to like this video it will support me and it will encourage me to make more videos on like this and uh, let you guess I am letting you guess just comment down below what is 14 have you commented so if you have already commented just, I am waiting for you. If you have already commented, the answer is it called integer. That's int. So, let me show you a little bit some tricky. That 14.5. What is this card now? Please go down and edit your comment and put what is 14.5. If you already have commented, please. Uh, keep in touch with us so those who have uh, not commented go and fast comment what is 14.1 sorry 5 <laughs> so this 14.1 is called a float okay so we tell decimal number in mathematics but in Python we tell floating numbers okay so I have a little bit of trick that uh, many Python programmers use I think to change the floating number to integer value so I have put this 14.5 that is float number okay floating number and if I put this in function and if I put this let me know what will it return go and fast comment down comment down fast okay guys so it will return me 14 only as you can see this is because uh, uh, just integer value is uh, before decimal and uh, floating value is after decimal and 
just before decimal and after decimal so this was this uh, floating so here we learn that uh, COVID with string or any other letters alphabets with string is called string primitive data types not primitive string data types and uh, 14 or any integer value is called integer data types and those who have decimal number decimal means after point and they are called floating number and now last thing a list so if I put a list like COVID coding YouTube and if I put this this is a list of data types and I will put this in COVID so if I uh, return a COVID it will return me list value so this coming list value is we know and that is list data types so hope you guys like this video and this much for today and I will be uh, bringing more and many more users are asking were asking for my video and I was not unable as I am also learning some Python and I'm teaching you too so thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't subscribed our channel don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't joined the tech samas go and join what are you waiting for there you can ask me some questions i will definitely see it and the link will be also in the description box below if you want to like my page you can like too and if you have uh, some queries you can contact me on that facebook page i will surely reply you thank you guys for watching this video i'll meet you in the next one bye bye